I have to say, Laura Wahlberg's eagle is most interesting. I think what would be even more interesting is for Byron to do a reenactment. Oh, there we go. A reenactment of his broomstick waving story. That was awesome. Well done, VM. I was going to show you it being mobbed by the fork-tailed drongo, which is a tiny little black bird that is always unbelievably brave. But as Byron sent you across to us, the drongo decided to fly away. And as you can see, our dark morph Wahlberg's eagle has decided to as well. Now this particular eagle is part of a pair. And unlike our Wahlberg's that seem to actually have left, the Wahlberg's nest that we've become so familiar with. I don't know if they've been seen in a few days. I don't know where they've moved their nest to. But this Wahlberg's come in different color variations. So you get the light morph, you get the, the normal colored Wahlberg's eagles, and then you get the dark morph Wahlberg's eagles. And this particular one has a... Oh, it's being bobbed again. Wait for me. This particular one has a pale morph mate which I would love to see the outcome of the chicks. It's on the ground. I'm going to go this way, just so that... I think it... I knew it was looking at... No, don't go, don't go, don't go. It's okay. Ah. Oh. wonder what it was after down there. I thought it might have been looking at something on the ground. Is it still around? Let's go see. Could be termites. After a little bit of drizzle, the termites might have started popping out. Let's go and see what you are after. Anything there? No. Maybe termites in the dung, perhaps. It was definitely closely examining something. Oh, drat. Well done, Viam. There we go. Let's just sit for a moment and see whether or not it decides to come back down to the ground. It gives us a really nice opportunity to view those fiercely powerful talons of the Wahlberg, of all eagle species. What were you after? A good toilet spot, apparently. I don't know where the pale morph is, but as I said, it would be really interesting to see which, what the outcome is with their chicks. There it goes onto the ground again. I can hear... Now the cysticulars are alarm calling. They're furious which is completely understandable. A cysticula is a tiny little bird with a very, very loud voice. And when it sees things like leopards or eagles, it makes a fuss about it. What is it? It's gone down onto... There, there we go. Let's try and find a gap with our roof. It's a bit tricky. Can you see it there, Viam? Forward. Whoops, too much, too much, sorry. There we go. Has to be termites, surely. You can hear the cysticula frantically alarm calling in the background. Furious at the presence of a large predatory bird. Hmm, interesting. Must be termites. And uh, the termite population explosions that we experience during our wet season, very, very important part of the diet of a lot of different things, including many, many raptor species. And for those of them that have undergone the long migration, it is a seriously good food source because, of course, they've got to recover all of the energy. So like the Warburgs that come all the way south from North Africa, a lot of our eagle species do return in the wet season. And so having this population explosion of termites or emergence as Brent calls it, the termite emergence provides them with some really valuable food.